Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Shalia, if this is your very first time here. Today I'm bringing you guys a makeup haul, so I'm super excited to finally, finally dig my hands into this box. As you guys know, I mean, who doesn't know? We are all in quarantine right now, so my packages took forever and when I say forever I mean like some packages took as long as like three weeks so um, I'm actually really excited a lot of this I haven't even opened I'm opening it all fresh on camera with you guys um, a few things I'm gonna be honest some things took some things got here a lot sooner than others so I did definitely get my hands on a few of them but for the most part I kept my hands to myself and I didn't touch anything so before we jump into the video I'm gonna ask you guys to do something for me you guys already know what it is I'm gonna ask you guys to subscribe to my channel your girl is trying to hit 200 subscribers before the month is over um, and so please it would really help me out and you know take my channel further <laughs> and of course at the end if you guys like the video to go ahead and give it a thumbs up uh, that also means a lot to me it just really lets me know that you guys are liking the work that I'm putting in to the channel and um, yeah that's basically it so let's go ahead I'm gonna actually show you guys you guys like <clears throat> honestly I don't even know if like you're gonna even really be able to see it all but yeah whatever I'm gonna stop rambling let's just jump right into the video So before I um, start pulling things out of my magic box over here, really quick disclaimer, please, please, please understand that by no means is this me bragging, guys. I'm not trying to throw anything in anybody's face or make anybody feel bad for their situation. I'm very aware of the situation that's going on in the world right now. I'm very aware of everyone's financial situation. I am by no means trying to make anybody feel bad or even encourage any of you to go out and spend any money, whether you have it or you don't. So I just want to throw that out there um you know this is just literally for fun it's just things that i was really excited about new new items and then items that have been out for a while that i just either never got my hands on or wanted to restock um so yeah let's just go ahead and get started um i feel like it just makes sense to kind of start with skincare um so the first thing that i want to tell you guys about is my ula henriksen as you guys can see i <laughs> i already got a little happy hands um this is my Ula Henriksen Balancing Force Oil Control Toner. You guys, my skin has done a complete 180 using this product. Um, it's a combination of obviously multiple things. I cannot just solely like base my skin, like the changes in my skin on one product. But if you have oily skin, and you are prone to acne maybe not like super prone but you do break out every now and then this toner is amazing I use it in the morning when I wake up from um, well when I wake up when I wake up from what when I wake up um, but after I wash my face I always go in with this toner and it just really helps keep my acne at bay most days I don't really have any acne obviously I'm a human being I get pimples just like everybody else occasionally and when I do this is my holy grail. All right, so next thing that I want to tell you guys about is my serum. This is the Ula Henriksen Truth Serum. It is collagen boosted, and I love this serum. It just makes my skin look plump. It makes it look hydrated. It makes it look refreshed. It literally makes my skin look like I drank six gallons of water before bed, and I woke up and was just like this glowing skin goddess. But really, in reality, it's just that I use a lot of skincare. I there's multiple sizes in this this is the 0.5 fluid ounce size and I want to say this retails for $24 or $28 like one of the two but you need very a very small amount of this uh, for and it like basically goes across the whole face and then you're still gonna top it with your moisturizers or your oils or whatever it is that you use on your skin after uh, you would do a serum so you don't really need a lot of it you'll get like fairly far um, I do want to show you what it says that it does in case you guys do want to know and then of course I'm gonna link everything in the description box down below so if you guys want to go to the site and just check it out for yourself just in case you're curious but it basically says that the truth serum infuses the skin with potent antioxidants the powerful serum helps to brighten firm revive and smooth smooth skin it's like a daily multivitamin for a healthy looking radiant Olay glow 
and that's exactly what I like didn't I just say that it makes me wake up in the morning and look like I seriously went to bed drinking 75 gallons of water I mean sometimes I do I try to drink at least a gal at least half a gallon of water a day if I can make it to a gallon I'm like yes so obviously yes you know I do also just take care of my skin in general but um that that does definitely help as well sorry guys I had an itch I'm like so um the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is this is the Tatcha luminous dewy skin mist um I'm sure plenty of you have heard of this product by now and this was just a restock this was not anything that I haven't used before I'm actually wearing it today I love this dewy mist I will full disclaimer this dewy mist is very expensive I think it retails for $48 so it's not for everybody I don't want anyone to feel like I'm trying to you know push you or do anything um there are plenty of other doing this out there this one just so happens to be my favorite so i got this one so kind of continuing on the skincare route i have another tatcha product this is the liquid silk canvas primer um if you guys have been following me for a while you could know that i am an avid avid uh silk canvas primer user i did switch for a little while to the milk hydro grip but it was just you know just switching up products to just see, you know, just to mix it up, make it spicy, you know? Um, but yeah, I loved the uh, solid one of this, the balm, the, the Silk Canvas Balm, and I just figured why not give it a try. I had heard a lot about it that the um, liquid one was basically almost the exact same formula as the uh, balm, except it was made to be liquid so I love this primer it really does um mimic minute mimic it minimizes the look of your pores and it really helps your makeup last longer um I'll read I'll read the back of it really quick so it basically just says it blurs the look of pores fine lines and uneven skin tone and it primes with ultra fine silk powders for long lasting flawless makeup and it helps provide a barrier from your makeup and pollution on the skin so that to me was just really important when I was looking at primers just to make sure that it's like an extra layer of something between my makeup and my skin because makeup can really do a lot of damage to the skin especially if you don't take care of the skin so you know for me it's always just taking care of the skin and then makeup comes second so while we're on the topic of skin I'm gonna move on to base makeup products um, and the first one that I want to talk about is the Fenty Beauty cheeks out cream blushes um, I got the shades cool berry and summertime wine I'm gonna go ahead and open them up and show you guys what they look like You'll also see in my previous video that went up right before this one that I do do an entire uh, review on these uh, Fenty products, the cream blushes and the bronzers. So this shade right here is Cool Berry. It is super light and super um, natural looking. The next shade I got is Summertime Wine. This is actually my favorite of the two blushes that I got. Uh, here it is right here. It is such a beautiful shade. Um, you'll see in my previous video that it's the shade that I chose to wear and it is just stunning I loved it um I mean this is not giving you an out to not go watch my previous video so like do that <laughs> but you know uh anyway these blushes also retail for I'm not also but these blushes do retail for $20 so the next product that I want to talk about that I got and I was super excited about was the cream bronzers um, I was very reluctant to get them at first because I am way more of a cream contour girl than a cream bronzer. But I said, you know what, screw it. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to give it a shot. Who knows? You know, I might actually love it. So the cream bronzers packaging is just stunning. If you ask me, um, it is just the typical, um, shape of the regular, like of the Fenty products. What is this? An octagon? Is that eight sides? One, two, three. Yeah, eight sides. So it's just... Like, I literally had to count them because I'm like, damn, I can't even tell. Is this seven signs? Um, but yeah, it is just the typical octagon uh, shape that Fenty Beauty releases with the, and, and these are gold. Um, I got the shade Chocolate, so here it is right here. Um, again, I did use this. You'll see it in my previous video. Uh, once again, like I said, uh, talking about um, all of the Fenty products. Sticking with Fenty, uh, I also, this is not a new product, but it is new for me. Um, when I purchased the cream brushes, bleh, when I purchased the, sis, 
when I purchased the cream bronzers, I decided I might as well go ahead and purchase the powder bronzers as well. So that is what this is right here. Once again, it is in the regular Octagon Fenty Beauty shape. It's got the Fenty Beauty written right across the front. And then when you open it, it has the FB stamp right there in the center. And I got the shade Coco Naughty. Um, I am also in love. In love love with this bronzer like I'm actually kicking myself because I should have purchased it months ago so I'm just gonna stay in the powder route the next thing I got was the matte velvet skin uh, powder foundation from makeup forever um, this is it right here here's the packaging I love makeup forever's uh, packaging I love the matte black packaging that they do I think it's stunning um, so basically the reason I decided to get this powder was because um, well, let me show it to you guys first. So here it is right here. This side right here is just a pressed powder. Um, you might be able to see a little bit of it on my finger here. And then this side is just a sponge for application. And the reason that I decided to go ahead and get that powder was because I used to even, um, put my highlighting powder, like my loose prep, my loose press powder, no, my loose setting powder, um, right here and I was just finding that it was just illuminating my face and I really wanted the illumination to be more centered so I really wanted to step out of that and I found that a lot of people had amazing things to say about this powder and so that was why I went ahead and got it my shade is Y455 and I believe the name of it if you're looking for it is Praline um, so basically all I do um, I've used it twice already I'm even actually wearing it today and you can just really see how over here is so much much brighter and down here still has like my natural um my natural foundation shade and then you can see my contour my bronzer my blush whatever like all the extra um things that would normally be there but um all I do is I take my Fenty sponge with the flat side and I just pick up some product and I go ahead and dab it down here just to really set in the makeup and I'm finding that it's doing an amazing amazing job Really quickly, I realized I skipped some Fenty products by mistake, but I'm going to just jump back into that. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to move on to all of the lip products that I got. Like, honestly, guys, these are all the lip products I got. Oh. Honestly, I need to lay off the crack. <laughs> there was no reason for this. Anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and start. I got the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb Lip Glosses. Um, I love these. My favorite one is Diamond Milk, and that's actually what I'm wearing on my lips right now. But I decided to try out the clear one. So pretty. Like, it's so satisfying. Like, it just looks like a glass slipper. Like, I love it. And then, of course, I got the same thing once again, but this time I got the Fenty Glow, which, if I'm not mistaken, is the original shade. This is it right here. Um, you can kind of see. Like, yeah, you guys, you guys know this shade, right? Super light, super natural. I love this when I just have, like, a pretty bare face. And let's say, like, I just do, like, brows and I'll, like, pop on, like, a tinted moisturizer and a little bit of blush and bronzer. And then I just throw this on. No liner, no, no nothing. I feel like I love the way it looks. It makes my looks, lips look so refreshing and just so plump and so, like, hydrating. Hydrated? Hydrated. Pfft. I'm like, can I speak English? Mm. So the next thing I got was the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Reshape Re and Resize Lip Liner. Honestly, who names these products? I want to have a conversation. Like, they are a mouthful. This lip, this lip gloss that I'm going to show you guys after is the Lip Luster Luxe Color Lasting Lip Lacquer. Like, bro. Anyway, the lip liner that I got that I was mentioning is in the shade Pillow Talk Medium. So here is the Focus for Mama. How about that? There we go. So here's the shade right here. I love this. This is like a really nice pinky nude. I think it's absolutely stunning. And if you guys can't tell, your girl loves a nude lip. I gave you guys a red lip in my last video. I don't know the next time that's coming back. I'm just gonna, gonna be honest. I don't know. Because this vibe right here is my jam. It's a vibe. Like this vibe is a vibe. Just throwing it out there. Um, <laughs> next I got the Matte Revolution, uh, Luminous Modern Matte Long Lasting Lipstick. You see these names, the guys, 
these names. Uh, again, this is by Charlotte Tilbury, and I just got the Shade Pillow Talk. You know, I know a lot of people were have amazing things to say about this lipstick. I did go ahead and swatch it uh, just a few days ago. So, here it is. There we go. Packaging is absolutely beautiful. And the lipstick is, once again, a super nice, like, pinky nude. And then I'll show you guys the swatch next to the liner right there. So I think together they're going to be so pretty. And then keeping up with Charlotte Tilbury, like I said, this is the Lip Luster Luxe Color Lasting Lip Lacquer in the shade... I don't remember. Um, Ibiza Nights. And here it is. So pretty. And I like this one a lot because it's got like a little bit of shimmer in it. Some definitely got some glitter in there. I mean, honestly, I don't really feel like you guys are going to be able to pick this up on the camera, but I'm going to show it to you guys anyway. Like you see. Yeah, I don't know if you can really see that. Still on lips, um, I got two glosses from Dose of Colors. These are not new at all. They're not even new to me. This is more so of like a restock. I was thinking of them and then I went on to... No, let me actually tell you guys what happened really quick. I think you I think we've got a second. Let me tell you, let me, let me tell you guys what happened. So... Anybody watch Money Heist? If you watch Money Heist, please give this video a thumbs up. That's all I'm going to say. I'm watching Money Heist, and I'm not going to say it because if you haven't gotten to that scene yet, I don't want to ruin, ruin it for you. But I'm just sitting there watching the TV, and I'm in doseofcolors.com, like kind of like building up a cart. And I look up, and somebody gets shot in a way, and, and I, it was just so unexpected. I just didn't see it coming. It shocked me that I accidentally pressed, like, I meant to press the back button and I pressed the purchase button on my, on my phone. Like, I, I was, I just, I'm like literally sitting there building my cart, do, 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 like going to town. And then I just look up for a second and it startled me. So I just tapped and I looked down and I, I purchased. And I was like, I wasn't, first of all, I wasn't done. Second of all, I wasn't even entirely sure if I wanted to order as many things as I ordered, but I'm such a dunce. Like, Let's bring back that word right now just for me. What a dunce. Who gets? You know what? I don't even want to talk about it. Anyway, so these are the Desi X Katie with Desi X Katie X Dose of Colors. I feel like it's like the right way to be saying that. And these are the glosses over the top and the most. These glosses. I just. I just feel like. If there was ever a beautiful gloss, it was these. Okay. Um, the first shade that came out was over the top, and that's this one right here. So it's this basically sheer gloss with a lot of gold reflex in it. It is stunning. Just by themselves, over a nude, over a pink, over a red. Like there, I I feel like there's no way, there's no wrong way to wear over the top. It is a beautiful, beautiful gloss. And then for their second launch, when they like launched a, a, um, a palette and a few more lipsticks, they added the shade the most. So here's the most. And as you can see, the most is once again a super sheer gloss and it's got a lot of iridescent reflex in it. So over, I love the most over pinks. Something about the like purpley pinkish even like mildly bluish shades on top of a pink something about it just really does it for me I think it's absolutely stunning stunning so I actually got two of each because I don't want to run out anytime soon so sue me all right so the next thing that I want to show you guys is a product that once again is new for me I don't believe it's new um this is the Patrick Ta velvet blush um I got the shade she's seductive Ugh. I'm so annoying honestly like just send me home I'm like can't get it out okay no seriously hello so here's the packaging right here, which I love. Honestly, you guys, I'm so basic, it's unreal. Like, I love a super basic packaging. I love, like, sleek, sexy packaging. Um, <laughs> but anyway, here's the blush right here. It is super, um, it's like a super natural, uh, shade of blush. 
I did also um, swatch this and put it on my cheeks once a few days ago. And while it does pick up on the skin, on my face, it's really hard to like show on my finger. I feel like like the, this part of my hand is like the exact same color of the blush, which obviously I know is not the case. I'm dragging it, but again, who would I be if I didn't drag something? I wouldn't be me. It's just the reality of the situation. Let's keep it real. So I went ahead and just added two more blenders. Uh, obviously, you guys know Beauty Blender. This is not new for anybody. I love the pink one. It's just It just seems like, to me, it does the best job of all the other ones. Yes, it does run a little dry. So like the first... <laughs> The first couple of uses, it's definitely like you're washing and you're like, why are my hands pink? But um, it does go away after a while. Um, but I don't know. I've used, I've definitely used some of the other colors and I just don't feel like it does the same job. And, you know, that could just be me. It just could be, like, I could obviously just be a creature of habit and don't want to use the other colors. Then I got the Dose of Colors, the Seamless Beauty Sponge. This is the Sculpt and Shape Sponge. I think they have, like, a couple of different sponges. I know that these are not new again it is new for me um i'm very picky about sponges i am a loyal beauty blender user i have other sponges i've tried other sponges i like other sponges i love my beauty blender you guys know what i'm gonna quote it's like i like my sketchers but i love my prada backpack but i love my sketchers that's because you don't have a Prada backpack. Like, legit, that's me right now. Like, I love my Beauty Blender. Everybody just likes what they like for themselves, but if you have never tried an actual Beauty Blender, give it a shot. You might really like it. Now, I did want to give this a shot because I know avid Beauty Blender users who have sworn by this sponge. I got really excited when this came, you guys, because <laughs> business in the front, <laughs> Party in the back so it is it does have that flat side on the back now one thing I like was head over heels about is this look at this you guys look how good that gets in there what I was like how how the it, it, it like the point I just finished using this so we're not gonna drag me for my my blender being freaking filthy but look Okay, well this is also not wet, but look at this. Look at the look at the tips. Now, my beauty blender is really good about getting in here, but I usually have to squeeze it. This is insane. Crazy. So I'm really excited for this, honestly. Alright, the next thing I got was the P. Louise eyeshadow base. Um, this is it right here. This is, again, another, like, repeat purchase. Now, I have had the base before. I had shade Rumor 2, and I think this is Rumor 1. Rumor 1 is one shade lighter. If I'm being completely honest, there was no real reason that I, I got um, Rumor 1 instead of Rumor 2, other than the fact that Rumor 2 was sold out. So I'm going to show you guys what Rumor Rumor 2 looks like, and then I'll show you guys the one that I just got, which is Rumor 1. So that's a swatch of Rumor 2 right there on my hand. So you can see um, this is Rumor 1. And obviously it's a little lighter, um, nothing drastic, but again, like I said, it is just going to be, I only use this for really bold colorful eyeshadow looks um where i just really want the color to pop so it being a shade lighter really was not a big deal for me because it's not like any of this ever shows underneath my shadow um so yeah all right so this so the next thing i'm gonna mention is i got the p louise and M -M -M mitchell uh acid rain paints i got the shades glow girl ecstasy and raver i'm gonna try to swatch these for you guys I really wanted to try these. I've seen Mitchell use them a lot on his Instagram. And so I was like, I've got to get my hands on these. And they work as, they act as bases. So a few days ago, I got Raver in stock before I got the other two because Morphe shipped my packages separately. Honestly, I have no idea why. Um, so I got Raver first. And then I, it's like a pink, it's the pink. I'm going to show you guys in a second. Sorry, I'm like swatching them on my hand. It's the pink shade. And then I went... I had blended a pink on top of it, then blended a purple on top of it, then blended like a red on top of it, and somehow even the darker shades were still shining beautifully on top of the 
um, these paints, which is like crazy to me because they're not they're not light bases. They're they're colored. All right, so here they are, guys. This shade right here is Glow Girl. Then right here is where you have Ecstasy. And then right here you have Raver. So Raver and Glow Girl are actually pretty similar, but this one's got more like berry tones to it, and this one is a little bit more pink. So um, I'm really excited to use these. As you can see, they're insane. This is with nothing under them. There's no base under here. There's nothing. Like, this is just the paints on my bare skin. All right, guys. This is it. We're down to the end. We've reached the... We've reached the climax. <laughs> I was like what am I talking about so these are brand new I'm actually so excited to do to use these honestly I'm 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 so excited these are the Norvina collection electric cake liners from Anastasia Beverly Hills um, if you guys don't know Norvina just released a palette and these liners um, on Monday it is currently Friday I just got these in the mail yesterday so the shade that I'm gonna show you guys first we have electric orange, opaque white, and electric purple. So they come in these adorable little stacks, and then each liner, um, each one sort of opens up like a stack. It reminds me very much of like a melt stack, except it's not magnetic. So like melt stacks actually like come apart, but these just slide open. They're, they're really easy to like close once you're done. Um, and these are water activated paints so basically you just want to pick up a little bit of water uh, on your brush and then dip it right into the product and it will activate the paints and then if you wanted to even like put it on the lid instead of um, using it as a liner you can actually use these as a base for your uh, eyeshadows and it'll and then you put it you put an eyeshadow on top of it be it something that's the exact same shade or maybe something a little bit lighter and it's just gonna basically like take the eyeshadow to look at my fingers I can't <laughs> it's basically gonna take the eyeshadow to the next level so yeah the next shades I'm gonna show you guys are um, electric pink electric yellow and electric lime so here is the stack itself and then once again you can just slide them open and then here is what it looks like once it's open it's super cute like look how easy that is wham bam thank you ma'am so yeah, I'm super excited about this. I'm actually thinking about um, doing a video uh, just with these liners um, and showing you guys exactly how they work and just like even for myself to really just have a first impressions of them. Um, so definitely probably stay tuned for that. Definitely probably. Like what? Make it make sense, sis. But yeah, so that basically is it, guys. That concludes this video. I know that I probably went a little ham. And I'm not ashamed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment box down below if there's any of these products that you guys are also excited about. Let me know if there's any of these that you want to definitely check out. Or if you guys, why, like, who am I? I'm like, do 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 do. Um. <laughs> Let me know if there's any of these products that you guys, I cannot deal with my hand right now. Let me put these down. Let me know if there's any products that you guys want to check out as well, like that you are encouraged to purchase or something that you were considering that you now want to get as well. Um, yeah, let's talk about it. Drop a comment in that comment box below and let's have a little conversation. You know what I mean? Anywho, I'm going to get out of here. If you guys didn't already at the beginning of the video, please, 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 please subscribe to my channel. And, of course, click the bell so you guys get notified. I don't want you to miss anything. It makes no sense if you're going to subscribe, but then you're going to miss everything. That's not any fun. And then, of course, if you guys liked it, let's go ahead and give it a thumbs up. That really does help me out. And it lets YouTube know that you guys actually like me and you want to see more of me. You know? Um, but, yeah, that's it. I'm going to get out of here. I love you guys. Have a great day. Bye.